Does this footage look familiar? That's because I use it on my channel update video. Today I just wanted to discuss a previous Jeopardy contestant. Her name is Tori Leibnick. I don't know if you're familiar with her. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you're not. That's because she only won... She didn't win any games at all. So why am I discussing her? It's because she reminds me of a previous Jeopardy contestant named Jennifer Morrow. Jennifer was someone who was peppy and had a lot of energy. You have 9,300 going. What have I done, 2,000? <laughs> I saw a lot of pep in Tori, and I wanted her to win because of that. Adding a bit of energy to Jeopardy swings it up and makes it even more entertaining to watch. She got one of the daily doubles. Now let's see how much that paid off. Let's see 1,400. All right. Here's your clue. It's largely thanks to this man, born in Scotland in 1838, that we have Sequoia National Park. John Muir? Who is John Muir? You got him. And I'll be stopped for 2000. And now we come to Final Jeopardy. Let's see how that goes. If it doesn't come to you immediately, you struggle a bit, but you, Stu, you are working on this really fast. Let's see if you came up with the correct response. What is St. Paul? You are right, which is now part of Turkey. So you almost know you're at 14,798. As we go to the lady, sorry, you wrote down what is Cincinnati. It's not, a not even a capital, I know. No, I know, but that, that's all right. At least she had a good run, but it would have been amazing to see her come back. 